chapter 12 strengthening institutional mechanism and capacity development 12.1 disability is a complex and multidimensional issue creating an environment conducive for persons with disabilities to live independently and participate equally with others requires multi-pronged strategy involving multiple authorities at central state and local level coordinated efforts across concerned central ministries departments provincial and district authorities non-government organizations involved in social engineering and advocacy are key to successful integration of pwds for achieving the 2030 agenda of sustainable development goals which promotes universal inclusion 12.2 The Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities Divyangjan is the focal central government department on policy matters whereas all concerned ministries departments are responsible for execution of policies and programs relevant to their sectors keeping in view the provisions of law safeguarding the rights of PWDs Twelve point two point one, primary ministries and departments, Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities, Divyangjan, under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Twelve point two point two, other key central ministries and departments, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. early identification and intervention healthcare rehabilitation education ministry of women and child development support services through anganwadi network ministry of education early childhood education preparatory school and vocational training and sports department of school education and literacy higher education and vocational training department of higher education Ministry of Skill Development and Labour Vocational Training and Rehabilitation Placement Self Employment Support Services through Local Employment Exchanges and National Career Service Portal Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs Accessibility in physical environment special schemes and programs such as allotment of land on concessional rate to PWDs Ministry of Railways Accessible rail transport special schemes and programs such as allotment of land on concessional rate to pwds ministry of civil aviation accessible air transport Ministry of Road Transport and Highways Accessibility in Passenger Road Transport Ministry of Shipping
accessible transportation by ship and inland waterways. Ministry of Sports Inclusive Sports Policy Accessible Sports Facilities Ministry of Communication and Information Technology Inclusive Telecom Policy Services Including Accessible Mobile Telecom Equipment Accessible Website Accessible Electronic Equipment Ministry of Consumer Affairs Universal Designing of Consumer Goods Ministry of Rural Development Disability Pension Accessibility in Rural Areas Inclusive Rural Development Program Twelve point two point three agencies, international bodies, and international voluntary organizations working for the cause of persons with disabilities, state government institutions, state central government special schools, district disability rehabilitation center DDRC, special schools. Parent Organizations Disabled People's Organizations Civil Society Organizations, etc. 12.2.4 Institutions Organizations under DEPWD We have a table showing serial number, name of national institute, specific disability and area of interest. First, Swami Vivekanand National Institute of Rehabilitation Training and Research, SVNIRTAR, Katak, established in 1975. Second, Pandit Dindayal Upadhyay National Institute for Persons with Physical Disabilities, PDUNIPPD, New Delhi, established in 1975. Third, National Institute for Locomotor Disabilities, NILD, Kolkata, established in 1978. Their specific disability is locomotor disability. Area of interest includes clinical and therapeutic services, manpower development, and research and development. Fourth, National Institute for the Empowerment of Persons with Visual Disabilities, NIEPVD, Dehradun, established in 1979, dealing in visual disability. Fifth, Ali Jung National Institute of Speech and Hearing Disabilities, AYJNISHD, Mumbai, established in 1983, dealing in hearing disability. Sixth, National Institute for the Empowerment of Persons with Intellectual Disabilities, NIEPID, Secunderabad, established in 1984, dealing in intellectual disability. Seventh, National Institute for the Empowerment of Persons with Multiple Disabilities, NIEPMD, Chennai, established in 2005, dealing in multiple disabilities. All of these points mentioned later share the same area of interest as number 1, 2 and 3. Eighth, Indian Sign Language Research and Training Center, ISLRTC, New Delhi, established in 2015, dealing in hearing disability. Area of interest, to develop manpower for using technique in conducting research in Indian Sign Language. Ninth, National Institute of Mental Health Rehabilitation, NIMHR, established in 2019, dealing in mental illness. Area of interest, rehabilitative services, capacity building, research and development. Tenth, Artificial Limbs Manufacturing Corporation of India, Kanpur, established in 1971. Dealing in all disabilities. Area of interest. To manufacture and supply quality aids and appliances at affordable cost. 
to set up and strengthen a network of limb fitting centers and dealers for making aids and appliances easily available to PWDs, to establish collaboration with premier institution and carry out continuous research and development to develop state-of-the-art assistive devices at affordable cost. 11th, National Handicapped Finance and Development Corporation, New Delhi, established in 1997. Dealing in all disabilities, to provide funds to the persons with disabilities for promoting self-employment, to promote skill development of persons with disabilities for their gainful self-employment. Twelfth, Rehabilitation Council of India, 1993. Dealing in all disabilities. Area of interest, to regulate and monitor training policies and programs in the rehabilitative sector. To prescribe minimum standards of education and training for rehabilitation professionals personnel. To promote research in rehabilitation and special education. To approve rehabilitation courses to be conducted by various universities and institutions in India. 13th, National Trust for the Welfare of Persons with Autism, Cerebral Palsy, Mental Retardation and Multiple Disabilities, 2000. Dealing with autism, cerebral palsy, intellectual disability, and multiple disabilities. 12. To provide legal guardianship to persons with four categories of disabilities. 13. To extend support to registered organizations for various schemes of the National Trust like Disha, Vikas, Samarth. Garonda and Niramaya. Twelve point two point five. There are twenty one composite regional centers (CRCs) under the National Institutes of the Department, located in twenty one states, union territories. These CRCs aim at providing rehabilitation services to all categories of persons with disabilities under a single roof. However, given the size of the population of persons with disabilities, the outreach of the services of CRCs needs to be enhanced. 12.3 The national policy envisages the following measures for strengthening the institutional framework for empowerment of persons with disabilities. Each central ministry department should have a nodal officer on disability matters to be responsible for coordinating with DEPWD. Priority to be given for implementation of the recommendations of the Central Advisory Board on Disability. which is the highest policy recommending body on disability sector and a platform for coordination among central ministry department and states union territories. Similar principles should be followed by all departments of states union territories. The National Institute's CRCs to serve as focal point at the regional level to coordinate with concerned authorities on disability matters. National institutes and CRCs should be involved under PM Daksh portal. These institutes may also be linked with UDID portal. Setting up of at least one national institute or composite regional center in every state union territory. Such centers should have facilities of cross-disability early intervention, state-of-the-art facility for rehabilitation services across all age group with vocational and skill training facilities.
These institute centers will serve as resource centers for states, union territories. Supporting district disability rehabilitation centers in every district which would provide single window facilities for the Vyangjin at the district level. Each DDRC should have facilities of cross-disability early intervention. As far as possible, DDRC should be located adjacent to district hospital healthcare institutions. Each DDRC should be manned by rehabilitation personnel, professional including community-based inclusive development professionals. States, union territories need to set up rehabilitation centers at subdivisional level on the model of DDRCs based on the population of PWDs in the locality. Staff and personnel of DDRCs and state-run rehabilitation centers, including NGOs under DDRS, should be trained under NIs and CRCs. Rehabilitation Council of India should take measures to develop well-trained pool of rehabilitation personnel professional to meet the requirements of all categories of PWDs across the country. The rehabilitation courses programs should be at par with international standards. RCI shall work in tandem with NCTE, National Commission for Allied Healthcare Services, National Medical Authority and Ministry of Education. Setting up an University of Disability St Studies and Rehabilitation Sciences to serve as a national resource center on human resource development in disability sector including inclusive universal design and assistive technology.